Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to USA Global TV and Radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck. I'm the president founder, and chief listening officer here at our network. Our show today is the Mallorca Connection, and our topic is what are heroes and why we still need them. Joining me for this show is the star and creator of this program. Let's welcome Mr. Roland Friedel, who is in his motorhome somewhere in Europe. Welcome to the program, Roland. Bonjour, Dr. Checklin. Hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment ça va? (laughs) <laughs> c'est va bien, c'est va. So I'm in France right now, actually in South France in the French Pyrenees in a very, very famous spot in Lourdes. It's a very famous international Belgium uh, spot from Maria Magdalena. So he had thousands of people coming every day from all parts of the world. I met guys from Australia, from Sri Lanka, from the US, from Africa, uh, from South America, uh, from Korea, from Japan. So it's a very international community here in Lourdes, and I'm here right now. Thanks so much, Roland. Before we move on, please tell uh, people a little bit about Mallorca. What is Mallorca, and what's the Mallorca connection? Well, actually, when, when I get in contact with you, uh, with my dear friend, John Christian, and, and thanks, John, for that, to introduce me to, um, to Dr. Jacqueline and, and this uh, fabulous uh, family. Um, well, uh, we started, the, we call it Mallorca Connection because uh, in the beginning we had this discussion, okay, what topic you want to talk about in, in your shows? And I said, well, my agenda is so broad. I have a lot of experience. I'm very curious about learning different stuff and I'm teaching so much different things. Uh, so I didn't have a, a certain topic and we came across about the Mallorca Connection because at the time, uh, Mallorca had been my home base for the last 14 years, actually which I left end of February and moved into my motor home in, in April. So my, the Mallorca Connection, the reason for that is uh, it was my home base the last 14 years and uh, the first interview guests are uh, came from Mallorca. That's why I called the Mallorca Connection. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing that. And you're up to a lot of things. You help people in various ways. Tell our audience a little bit about how you work with your clients and then we'll bring out our fabulous guests for today. Okay, just shortly, in, in, in my in my business context with Sprint and Performance Systems, uh, myself and my team, we see ourselves not only as consultant, typical consultant, uh, consulting processors, uh, transformation, whatever, what we just do right now with a Swiss uh, company, uh, not only coaching, what I right now do with a GM of French company, or workshops delivering in sales leadership, what we do for a US company right now. We also see ourselves right now as, as, as a sparring partner. So we spare our clients, uh, meaning we challenge them really. It's really tough work. I really confront them with the strategies for ideas. We really disrupt the strategies before a, a, a competitor does. So we are really working very hard for them because it's all about control of attention during hard times that we are facing right now in business. And because it's uh, it's all about, as I said, control of attention, meaning uh, performance under pressure. You only can perform under pressure when you have control of attention. And that's really why we work with our international customers on, on different aspects, as I said, but it's a combination of coaching, consulting, uh, trainings, delivering workshops, or uh, virtually or classroom. And we really are sparring partner. Like, you know, sparring comes from boxing, like preparing the fighter for the fight. We prepare our customers for the real world. That's what we're doing. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that. And you've brought another fabulous guest. Tell our audience a little bit about Ulrich and then we'll bring him out. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that he has the time uh, and, and, and and joining us. Uh, actually, I met Ulrich in May. Uh, in, as you know, Dr. Jacqueline, I, I run also a platform, Sparing for Men. I do a lot of men's work. We do also our show tomorrow. Every Wednesday, we do this fabulous, I love this, Wild at Heart show here at Yosio Global and Radio. So show for men, by men, about men. 
Um, and um, yeah, as, as I said, I, I turned my first man's festival, actually, because the last two years, because of the pandemic or pandemic, how you want to call it, um, there was no festival. So I joined these festivals. Uh, it was beautiful, uh, close to my former uh, hometown where I was born in, in Linz. And there I met Uri. I guess it was the, I'm quite sure, I guess it was the work, first workshop I attended. I think so. It was about white king stuff. Uh, being a man, a real man, being a hero, being white and stuff, uh, together with uh, he did it with a partner, the guy. Um, and it was a cool workshop. And I, after the workshop, I, I, I came to him and I introduced myself and said, "Hey, are, are you willing to, to do an interview with me at USA Global TV and radio? Because you have to share your message, what you're doing, because you're doing a, a fabulous job." So. Um, that's why I'm here, and I'm very happy that he's coming here. I'm, I know from his main profession is a dentist, but he also dedicates uh, his life to to bring more heroes uh, out of this and into this world because we need more heroes. So let's Fabulous. welcome him on the show. Bring him on the show. Welcome, Alan. Nice let's to welcome have you. Ulrich. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, Ulrich. Great to have you here. Thanks for your time and. I highly appreciate that you're joining us from my former hometown, my birth town, Linz, where I really miss. <laughs> Thank you for the inv invitation. I'm very glad to be here. Thank you. I just want to share Thank with you. you that I love dentists. I absolutely love taking care of my teeth. So thank you for the contributions that you're making for people to help with, help them with their smile and their confidence. So tell us a little bit about your background and how and why you started the Hero Forge. Uh, in fact, the Hero Forge started a long time ago, 30, 35 years ago when I was uh, a young man with 13, 14 years old. Um, I was, for my age, uh, small, very, very thin, and also a little bit cheeky. So I got often beaten up by other, other guys, other boys. And also I was very shy and had uh, problems talking to girls. I was bad in school. So for me, I had the self-image of a a classical loser. This was what I felt, this way I felt uh, at that time. But I had two, two resources, um, two energy resources. First, uh, the love of my family, which was very strong and I'm very thankful for that. And the other was um, my action and movie stars and the stars, the heroes from from the comic, the comic heroes. Uh, I could identify a lot with them because uh, what we had in common was that they also had um, at a certain point in their life, uh, they felt bad or as a loser. Uh, and then something happened and they had to make the decision to go the way of a hero or to go the way of a victim. So it is only a decision you make. And this was very, uh, a great inspiration for me. And I decided to, to try to go the way of a hero of a hero. Uh, this, uh, meant for, for, for me that I started training. I started doing martial arts. And I started to build up my, my ego. I started to build up my, um, my self worth to, um, to be more, uh, to be proud and to be, to be someone. Yes. I wanted to be a hero and I tried it every day, every day. And over the years, uh, it went well. I, I was, not so shy anymore. I got more friends and my ego become bigger and bigger. But then I felt, uh, this wasn't enough. This, this felt like, uh, running against the wall only to, to get a bigger ego is, is not, not enough to, to go the, the whole way of a, of a, of a hero. So I decided to go deeper. To, to dive under the surface, to dive, um, to not only look at the, at the top of the iceberg, to go deeper. And um, 
this was very interesting and I'm still on my way. And after a while, I felt like I have to give something to have to, to, to train people to um, also feel this power of, of being uh, a hero or to try to be a hero. It's, it's, a, it's not a certain point, you are a hero and you're not a hero. It's, it's, a, it's a, a, a trying, a lifestyle being a hero. And I started to develop a um, con concept um, to give the whole thing a structure and to, um, yes, to train it. And this was the birth of the Hero Forge a few years ago when I uh, started to train people. And then I recognized that this training to give something to other people had a so good um, and strong input to me. So it's like a circular um, a spiral, uh, trying to be a hero, give it to other people, and this inspires you again. So I, I love to be in this, in this, in this, in this, in this circle. I love to train uh, men and also women uh, to be or to try to be a hero. I absolutely I love what you said, Ulrich, because, you know, when I, when I saw you the first time, you know, when, uh, in, in this workshop, there was this tall, very handsome, well-trained, tattooed guy. And now you tell me you have a, an underdog in your childhood. <laughs> but this is a good news for everyone out there who feels uh, with less um, uh, self-esteem and feels like, a, like, you said, a loser or an underdog. It's it's what you said. It's it's making a clear decision. So I'm gonna change it. Not not being not being passive or not depend on somebody else. Not being helpless. So making make, I love that little you said, Charles. You, you made a decision and then you started moving your ass, getting out of from the comfort zone and, and train. And, and it's really cool. I have a question for you. When, when you, you you several you mentioned the word hero and. and so, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm a kid, I'm a man. I'm a, I was a kid too, you know. I had my heroes in in, in my childhood, and sometimes we have all, all we think about this superpower or whatever. And as you said in in, in, in the cartoons, in the comics, uh, what is in your in your what do you think in your eyes? What kind of man is a hero nowadays in this modern society? What is was a hero? Mm -hmm. Before we talk about the four pillars. Um, I would like to give you a, a short overview. Uh, about what means being a hero for us, uh, mm -hmm. I would like um, like a, like a, like a temple, like a house on the top. The the concentrate the essence of being a hero uh, is very simple, but not always easy. Uh, a hero does doing is the superpower. You can have your beliefs, your your techniques, your 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 knowing, your knowledge. When you don't do, it's for nothing. So, if you want the secret, is doing, do it. Uh, we know the slogan of a of a, a sports company. Um, doing is the most important thing. Not only react do for yourself and then we have it contains um uh of course more not only doing uh it contains uh doing it with a self-determination self-determination uh with um a self-leadership this is very important uh to do uh what your call is what your inner voice tells you not to be in a in a in a um, not let your circumstance tell you what to do. You are in a self determination. The second is freedom, freedom to be free from uh, from again from your circumstances. Be no victim of of your partner, of your boss, or to have the self responsibility to be free. And when you do your, your hero homework, um, 
another step will follow. A step which is, which is um, I tried before to explain, but you cannot really explain it. You can also not explain how you feel when you jump from a cliff in the sea or how it is to have good sex. You cannot explain it. You have to feel it because the most important thing when you really want to go the, the, the whole way is the message is it is not about you. It's about to protect and serve. It's about to, to give it back. But this is a, a step you have to um, feel it for yourself. You have you. It's hard to explain, and it, but it will come naturally. You cannot force it, or you should not force it. It comes naturally. It comes from a inner from an inner call. And these three things contains again uh, your self-image, your self-consciousness, self-responsibility, and your self-confidence. So this is the, the structure, the building, it's a big building, uh, uh, about being a hero. Thank you okay, so, so much. So, so when I summarize it, uh, first of all, you said is, be, being be, becoming being become and be a doer it's about action as i always say be less inspired be less impressed be more involved so do it the first steps and I, and I guess this is very important for our audience also to know is once you started you do the first step and you feel better then you have a success and then you go further and go further and and you also said being in the driving seat is very expand, uh, important not depending on others just being in the driving seat having full of, of control i absolutely love it please like check like go ahead Thank you. This is really a fascinating topic. And you alluded about uh, confidence. I'm wondering about self-image. What mm -hmm. is self-image and, and how is that involved in this process of becoming a hero? Um, self-image is, is very often the first step. Um, as, I, as I explained my, my history, um it was the first step i needed to go to have this 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 self image a good self image to have this this vision this picture of me who i want to be and um this this picture gives you an attraction um and and you go for it every day when you when you wake up you have this self image who i want to be um this is very often connected with with your ego, and often in some in some in some uh, circles in some in some groups, uh, ego has often a bad a bad image. But and I say your ego is 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 very important. It's not all about your ego. It's only a part of you. So the mistake you can make that you think you are your ego. You are not. You are, it's a part of you, but a very important part because um, with this strong ego, you have, um, mm, you, how you said, you have a good, uh, uh, you, can, you can start and land again, good. Yeah? It's for, your, for, your, for going deeper or going higher. Yeah? It's good to have a, a strong ego, yeah, and and it's also not very difficult to have to have this self image from you. Um, it's not so difficult to become this person you want to be. The more difficult question is, what or who do you really want to be? And that is that is why we go deeper and go to your self-consciousness but again your self-image is very important for the start uh, Ulrich when we talk about our uh, self-image a lot of people especially men in this world we always have we have very competitive we always want to be successful most of us are wearing a mask uh, what about what about this mask and how to get rid of this mask 
uh, this is uh, like I said. We have to 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 take this mask down. We have to go deeper. We have to 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 dive under the surface and look look is what is all about. What who I am, who I uh, what I want to be. What is um what is the mission of my life? What is the call? What is what is it about? Yeah, not only to to um to play with nice gadgets to have a expensive car or a house like that it's all nice and you can have it it's it's not not bad or good but it's not the only thing it it cannot be your only mission to have more 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 of what um so you dive into your under the surface to go uh, uh to jump from your iceberg in in to see what's under the surface and this is your self-consciousness uh, it's about your um, values, your beliefs, your shadows, um, and your needs. This is a big part, um, your self-consciousness, and it will never end to, to look around in this part of you, um, to go also in the, in the corners where you don't like to look but it's very important we call this shadow work and um often in this in this dirty corners they are often the biggest uh gold nuggets so it's good to have a look there Absolutely. How would you say as a next step you would be able to foster a growth mindset uh a growth mindset is is absolutely necessary uh, to go deeper um because in your if you're in your fixed mindset nothing will change so a very important thing about the growth mindset is uh, to be curious to make um new things to try to try to get in relationship with other people to try, often it starts with small things, to try uh, to eat other food, to, to not always eat the same, not only to always uh, wear the same clothes, say the same things, meet the same friends. Um, then you get this, this, um, Scheuklappen, this, your, uh, how you say this? You don't, it's you tunnel cannot, blick. tunnel blick, yes, thank you. Um, and, and you will not, uh, see the whole spectrum of life um, and often life gives you so much presence but you don't take it because you're in your tunnel and and then it's difficult to to see and to open this presence but um, you have you have you have to to have a, a, a to see the whole or try to see the whole thing yeah? and try to be open then then uh with your growth mindset wonder can happen yes as i say sometimes they think outside the box or even i go further and say i think there is even no box but for some people it's very difficult because they're caught in a trap they're in the treadmill you know they're working so they can afford the the things they don't really need to impress people they don't like uh, <laughs> but to feed their families and all this stuff so most people are really caught in this in, in actually in this trap and, and and sometimes they don't see all these uh, opportunities uh so my question is uh when when you talk about building up a self-image building up uh, being more aware about your self-consciousness um at the end you build up a self-confidence but but how do you build self-confidence up i think it's so important to be confident with yourself but how do we, how do you build up self-confidence confidence self-confidence again is uh again simple but not always easy to do uh it means to to do what you say and you say what you do um it means that yet yeah, we all know this situation these moments uh when 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 the year is over next year i will do this and that yeah and nothing will happen or maybe a few days and then it's the old same thing like the last few years 
So be aware of what you will do and then do it. Yeah. Here again, uh, as I said at the beginning, the superpower is doing. Yeah. And what will, of course, help you for your doing is your um, uh, motivation, discipline, and or often it needs courage to do it. Often we have, it feels like chains, yeah? um, and we, we cannot, we think we cannot, but we can if we try, if we do. Um, so this needs courage, of course, to, to, to get rid of this, this, this change. Um, and also goals, not only, not only fears can, can, can hold you back. Also goals can have this strong chain effect because you are, you are like, a, your goals are like a carrot and you always try to, 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 to achieve your goals. And then you achieve, maybe you, you get the carrot and then next carrot, next carrot. And there are a lot of carrots. And um, so it's it's not only to get the carrot, yeah? it's, it's, it's more. Uh, and also what will help you is there are different type of uh, motivation types. So maybe your motivation can be help other people for someone else. Motivation can be money. Yeah? This is uh, also, again, nothing good or bad, but you have to feel, you have to know it what type of motivation is good for me um, and then do it so your self uh, confidence is about again doing what, what i what i got from you and my understanding is Ulrich, because you know for our audience uh, most people think that outstanding people are always doing outstanding stuff but it's not true it's as what you said, it's just just starting to it. And I guess it's about doing the small things. It's not something extraordinary or something very special. It's just doing what you have to do, the small steps and improving every day a little bit. It's not about a 180 degrees change immediately because you know, then you fall down, you will fail. It's actually like, you know, you know this, this New Year's Eve, uh, what many people have, I stop smoking, I do work out, I eat healthy too much stuff in the beginning and then they just give up because it's too old it's too much it's more about this as i understand from what you're saying is doing the small things yeah the first step and then the next step and implement because it's it's very di it's very difficult to change habits yeah or, over a long time so but it's the small steps and small step repeated and then implemented I, I like what you're saying and and also what you said about yeah of course need motivation what's very important is or what you said is everyone has a different kind of motivation some people are motivated by money some people are motivated by their family or if it, whatever it is so find out what is your, what motivates you that's what i absolutely love and you said also for the next step you said um, in, in beginning when we started our conversation you talked about your when you have your calling take talk, talking about self sorry self responsibility meaning uh you don't force yourself so you have your inner calling you want to take a responsibility can you tell a little bit more about self responsibility I need some water afterwards. <laughs> self, -respons <laughs> self responsibility. Uh, but how you get it and what it what it, what it needs to be done. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, only a short sentence to the the thing before about what you said doing uh, doing small things. Uh, a small thing which every one of us can do and would change everything is being friendly. If everyone starts to being friendly, it sounds so easy and sounds like nothing, everything would change. But now to self-responsibility. Um, self-responsibility is very important. And I would like to, to uh, explain two, two different parts, uh, a smaller, a smaller circle, which, um, which is about yourself. A, that means that you take the self-responsibility, responsibility for your life. Um, it's not your um, bad relationship. It's, it's not the partner which is responsible. It's you. It's the, not the bad job and the bad um, boss. It's you. 
if you want, you can go or you can change something. But the responsibility is uh, is in your in your doing. So um, if you don't accept this, you will uh, be a victim. And uh, so you are or like a passenger. Uh, you cannot change anything. So it's uh, very important to uh, get the point when you are uh, when you get the responsibility for it. Some people say I, I'm not responsible for it. Uh, this is this is someone else. But at this point, you are uh, you cannot change anything. It's it's you have to take this point, be responsible, and change the things you want to change. And then this, the second part is um, this, this circle of the self-responsibility gets bigger and bigger. So you get, you started, you start to get your, the responsibility for others, uh, for your family, for friends. You start to protect and serve. You start to being responsible for this world. Uh, this doesn't mean that you have to to become the, the, the president of the world or something or the king of the world. Uh, uh, it's again the point you 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 um, said before. It's also the small things that will change the whole world. World. It's the domino effect that you will start when you start inspiring other people. As I said, being friendly, it will have a big um, effect on the whole world. So this is why it's so important to have this self-responsibility and to have this um, this yeah like in this need to 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 make it bigger, yeah, to have an effect on 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 this on this universe. Okay. Uh, Ulrich, you're still working as a dentist as far as I know, yes? Yes. So my question to you is a more practical one for our audience, for, for myself as a trainer coach or for Dr. Jacqueline as a producer or for whoever's listening to us. Uh, how does this, this four pillars we've talked about, self-image, self-consciousness, uh, uh, self-confidence, self-responsibility, to build up a... I will not say a hero state, but a hero mindset. How does this affect your job as a dentist, for example? And what's the value for you? And what's the value for your clients, for your customers? What's the, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. um, you have to know that my, 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 um, my a main part of my, of my work as a dentist is working with, uh, with the fear, with fear patients. Yeah? A lot of patients uh um don't like to go to the dentist um and have a have a strong fear and i'm specialized of of uh, of working with them together to work um to make the work as a dentist possible and uh it's very interesting i have a lot of methods techniques i have but most of the times being friendly is the best thing uh, to take the fear um, it's about communicating on a on a on the same same level um, this is what very often uh, doctors uh, talk a little bit from top to the to the patient but to to have the to see his the the the, the patient as an as a customer, as a guest, as a human being, yeah, and accept it. Don't 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 uh, don't uh, try to to push it away. The fears, it will make the fear stronger. So accept it. Say yes. Hello, fear. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> it's okay that 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 you have the, the fear. Um, and it's very, very uh, good feeling to 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 serve this 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 people to um, 
to that you that I can can make my my normal dentist work. Yeah. So this this um, was also a part of my 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 way to to take this mindset in in my my dentist work. And it's it's also not only with the with my customers, it's also with my team. We have a very strong uh, team spirit, and this is a very important point. You don't a hero don't uh, a hero doesn't need to to work alone. Uh, you can it's much more efficient, like the Avengers, a team of heroes. What's better than one hero? Two heroes. Yeah. So uh, also in my team. Um, this is a very important mindset um, to have a uh, together something we can uh, affect, which we what what we can do, what the effect we can have on our customers and on um, in this world. I love what so you're what sharing I, today. It, oh, sorry, Roland. I, I was just going to say there's so many people who are intimidated to go to the dentist. I mean, it's they get themselves so worked up and in such a state. And the fact that you embrace this and you basically welcome them with kindness and understanding is such a fabulous approach. I don't know why more doctors and professionals, people in any profession, why don't we acknowledge this and, and realize that people do have these fears? So congratulations to you for, for that. And also as the topic today is about heroes, you've given us a lot to think about and we can acknowledge that heroes are important and we have the ability, each and every one of us to take these steps that you've described and as Roland put the, the hero mindset. Yeah, it would yeah. Be, be great if more people and for especially people who work with other people to have this 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 um, hero mindset or another mindset, this open mindset, yeah, to to accept and to see my my the 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 the, um, the, the people I work with, um, to see what I can do for them, yeah, to have this this mindset, I protect and serve them. It's 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 it would be great. What I, what I take with me, it's it's about, our, you know, when you talk about a hero, it's not about me, as you said, it's not about myself, it's not about, I'm the middle of the world, I'm the best, and it's, it's what I really love is this, is this surfing aspect, yeah, this caring and sharing aspect, or as we always talk on, 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 on the show here. Um, and I think it, it uh, as you said, Dr. Jacqueline, it, it would be wonderful if more doctors would be trained on, on, on these pillars, and because so many people are afraid, especially go to the dentist, or some they go are, um, are afraid to go to their, their doctors and stuff like that. It's so so important to to get the fear out of the people and and so you can work with them. Uh, Ulrich, my my question is, you know, we are, we are facing not only as a dentist, <laughs> uh, we are, or we or people who, who need a dentist. Uh, we all, we are facing very challenging times, especially the last two years, and and people are very insecure. What's going on? Uh, with with the, with the virus now with in, especially in Europe with this with this energy crisis with the the food crisis is coming. Uh, why do we need still need heroes? It's no longer something from the past. Why we still need heroes and and and, and nowadays and why and what can mm -hmm. they contribute? Yeah, as you said, as a hero sounds a little bit old fashioned. Sounds a little bit uh, hero princess dragons. Yeah. But it's a it's it's a very modern need for for heroes. There are a few points. Um, start with a very easy point. Um, it's very difficult to be a hero and an asshole at the same time. So if you like a world with less assholes, it would be great to have more heroes. Um, second is. A hero with a self-determination, with that, that inner call, um, thinks for himself. Not only, as I said, that the carrots and that the, the you know the system likes this 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 lone warriors, these consumption soldiers, 
to to have these carrots in front of them and be be as i said lone warriors yeah they don't want that we are in a group together on that we start thinking <clears throat> so being a hero is about um doing also thinking believing but from my from my inner is an inner attitude from my inner call and this is very important uh paired with the self-responsibility that we can change something that we don't wait that others maybe will do and when they do something we say we don't like it and we start we start arguing so it's time that we start doing every one of us otherwise it will it will it's not it will become difficult to to have to have only a few people which uh try to 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 uh, save the world for it's uh, the question is what they understand about saving the world uh it's time that we start doing that we start um thinking of our own um inner call and to change something start with the change in you start with your your, your with everyday things everyday routines start to improve your willpower and then um start changing the world I can absolutely relate to that because I have a lot of conversation with friends all over the world who are very concerned about what's going on now politically with the Great Reset and what all the shit that is going to happen. And even my my dear friend Robert Kiyosaki, who I, I guess he sold 40 million books, is very famous. He he does his own shows against the Great Reset, and everybody is, is worrying about not those guys who are still sleeping, but those who are aware of what's what's going behind the scenes. And I always say it's don't wait for somebody to, to to rescue you. It's all about you. You have to start. Yeah, get, get prepared. Uh, learn how uh, to feed your family. Actually, I was posting in my story on Facebook today. Those who know to plant vegetables and fruits, they will eat in the future. So learn these basic things. Take self responsibility. Um, have your self image. How you see yourself in the future as a protector of your family, if you have a family, of, about your community, about your tribe, and start with the small thing. Learn things that are necessary to survive in the future and and protect the beloved ones. I guess this is so so important. Thank you for that, Ulrich. And, and it, as you said, it starts with yourself, not pointing somebody else or com or blaming about politics or um, I don't know multinational companies. It's just. It starts with yourself, and I guess that's the that's the positive that's the message for for all of us. Is and as you said, from from your story, from your childhood to now, is it's making a decision and do and make your first step, and not complaining or I don't know, being too much on, on social media, looking at other lives, and not just just starting and move your ass, uh, move your ass, get out of the sofa and start and, and make this this place a, a better world. Absolutely, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was a great interview. And, and I really can relate to everything that you're saying. Instead of when we were young, having those little action figures or going to the movies and watching the superheroes are going to come and save the world. We have to be our own superheroes and we have to take our own accountability. And it's also not waiting for the next generation to do it or somebody else is going to fix it. No, we all have to be responsible and have that kind of growth mindset that you talked about, that accountability, that consciousness, that awareness, the confidence to do it. So you are definitely a hero and I thank you for sharing with us today. And you're welcome to share your contact information with our audience. How can people get in touch with you? How can they book in as, uh, as it's for dental work? And how can they contact you as uh, to be a client? Um, you can contact me with the, um, this, the, my homepage, uh, die Heldenschmiede, uh, point at. Um, there we, we, we offer trainings, we offer workshops. Next year, the Männer Festival, uh, the Men Festival will start again, where I met 
Roland, this year. Next year it will become super great. It will be really a great uh, event experience. A few days uh, for for men to get in contact with other men to get in contact with the power. Uh, contacting me as a dentist, I'm sorry, but we are full. I cannot take more patients. I'm sorry. Yeah. So please contact me as a as a trainer as a and for workshops. But yeah, I would like right. to have the contacts and see you soon again. Mm. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And maybe uh, maybe cool. Jacqueline, we're gonna spell for our audience who are listening on the radio station who don't see us because they're listening. Maybe we spell the website for, for Ulrich. It's www.dieheldenschmiede.at -E for Austria. Okay, for our listeners on the radio stations. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right, we are going to conclude. And uh, Ulrich, thank you so much for being here today. And please do keep up the great work and come back and see us another time. Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure for me. Thank you. Thank you, Ulrich. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs> Wonderful information. I, I love the caring and sharing and just learning so much because that's what it takes. It takes an education. Once you have that information, I feel like we're responsible to do something with it. Just like Olga said, uh, doing, being a doer. And, abs and absolutely and everybody can be a hero. Everyone can yes. be a hero and we need heroes. So please come on, <laughs> get up, stand up. <laughs> Calling all heroes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Roland, absolutely. I would like to spotlight you and have you share whatever you'd like to with our audience as we close out our show for today. Well, thank you. You know, I'm, I, I don't want to talk about my business background. Um, if you want to learn more, go to my website, rolandfriddle.com. Uh, I want to talk about what is really from the bottom of my heart, besides my man's work, is please, please, please join us on the 6th of September, the launch on our Earth show, when we talk about Pancho Mama, how we can respect Mother Earth, because Mother Earth is giving so much to us. And we will have a, a Twice a month, we're gonna have a show together with my dear friend Marcin, who is a biologist, a biologist about this topic. How you can contribute, how you can take self responsibility, and make this—I won't say this place, this Earth a better place, but give back to Mother Earth and how we can save Panchamama. Please, please join us on the sixth of September on USA Global TV Radio Earth Show. is coming soon. Actually, at seven p.m. Uh, yeah, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Uh, European time, meaning 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern European Standard or 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Join us on the Earth Show. Mother Earth needs you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Excellent, Roland. Thank you for being here and have a beautiful evening. And remember to videotape what you're going to see outside of your motorhome. I'd love to have you share it with us. I, I will show this. I will show this. Yes, I will show okay. this. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank Bye you, Dr. Jacqueline. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, thank you again for being here. I just want to share something with you. We at USA Global TV and Radio, we have a newsletter, and it's called The Global Post. And I bring it up now because I'm going to share my screen and share it with you. The reason why I've decided to do the newsletter every week is because it's focused on our guests and it's focused on our team members and it's focused on our loyal followers. I did go ahead and put the link there in the comments. So I just want to share it with you so you know what to look for. And when you're on the show, we like to focus on you and share your information as well. So what you see on the screen is the global post. It's the weekly newsletter and it's coming out every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And that's 4 p.m. British summer time, 5 p.m. Central European time. And what you'll find here are links that you can click on to learn more. Here's one about Alcini, uh, Janetta Barry, about our new shows. We've got a, a new show coming out. It's the reunion show. It's on September 18th and it's 
exactly six hours long. And the reason I bring this up is because if you would like to promote your work, it's not an interview program. It's promotion only. You get 15 minutes to promote your work. You get to meet Al Cini, you get to meet me and all the other fabulous guests that we have from around the world. If you are someone who's caregiving for someone with dementia, you can learn more from Tracy Perkins. Actually, we have her book. It just arrived today. I'm reading up on it. So you can watch that video. You can also click and connect with her. We just started a new show called Get Off Your Couch Workout with Sarah Gillian, my co-host. And we were joined by pro athlete and trainer and coach Tony Simmons. So you can actually watch our shows there. We started another show called Global Adventures and Janetta Barry and her son, Neil, actually just took us through a, a a wonderful overview of a number of safari animals. So that show is every Wednesday, every other Wednesday, I apologize. We also had a show with international flight attendant, Ilani, and she was sharing with us about etiquette and manners in the air. This was a really cool show. I learned so much from her. So you can click on her here. You can click on the show there. And then of course, we also have from Philip Sykes. He's the founder and principal of the British School of Excellence. You can learn everything you need to know about respect, emotional intelligence, how to treat people. I also have another new show called um, a show about nothing. It's called Rapping with Dr. Jacqueline. And we're in a virtual living room. We had that show today. You can learn more about that. What does it take to build a global career from expert Sandra Coyle? Uh, of course, we also have our information about children's books. You can see a number of them here. We also had a wonderful interview with success incubator, John Knotts. You can watch that show here. And we also had Adversity to Awesome. Brenda Esdar joined us and she shared with us the incredible adversity that she's been through. And she's still smiling and she's still growing and she's still appreciative. So you can also learn about identity theft protection with Sharon Brown. She's also the author of this children's book, A Time to Fly. I'm sorry, that's Diane Flubin. Sorry, I meant A Heart of Gold with Sharon Brown and Heather Johnson. Diane Floyd Beam is a very good friend and she's written, I think nine or 10 books at this point. This is her newest one, A Time to Fly. You can order the book right there. Uh, also a friend, Zane Carson Carruth, Abella Goes to the Rodeo. And you can order the Abella books here. Uh, let's see, we also have a wonderful Meet Me at the Improv with acting coach Christine Amy Artner. You can watch that there. And we also had a wonderful panel discussion on another platform, but I was part of it. It was called Saving America from Mass Violence, a panel discussion. And I was invited by Dr. David Shine and uh, joins Heather as well as Scott. So you can learn more about that there. I have two new children's books coming out with my co-author, Mariska Dupree. You can pre-order your copy here. It's The Amazing Adventures of Lady L, the Listening Mentor. And each of these animal characters actually represents a real human being who took the power of listening and got certified as an elevated listener. And together, we are helping children and their parents learn how to listen at an elevated level. So you can pre-order that book there. The second book is also available for pre-order. This first book will be available in paperback and hardback, and that will be available November 26th. The second book will be available December 15th, but you can pre-order your eBooks now. Okay, this is where you can watch that show, Saving America from Mass Destruction. I also did a show on how to start your own business, and so you can check that out there. And here's more information about Tony Simmons. You can actually go to his website. You can go to his LinkedIn. You can learn more about him and how to hire him. Uh, we also had a fabulous show about reversing the signs of aging with LifeWage Technology founder, David Schmidt. And this is a good one to watch as well if you have concerns about the aging process and how to look at it from another perspective. And Al Cini, Mark Iorio, and Lisa Maniocchi have teamed together for a fabulous workshop that's on team building, blending, and bonding. You can find out more here. And this is their brochure. We had Bob Brill with us last week. He's an award-winning journalist. He's also a podcast host and the, the host of Fantasy Football. He's an author, a sports columnist, a filmmaker. He's a news anchor out in 
LA. So you can watch the interview here. You can actually go to his websites. He's got different websites there. Are you looking to learn how to sing? Why not hire the best? Uh, that's who I'm working with, Madeline Chan. She and I have written a song called What Was I Thinking Back Then? And the song is finished, but we're just... Um, getting the demo together so that we can finalize it for the, the release of the new single. So you can actually watch this video to learn more about Madeline and her journey. She's an international award-winning singer and songwriter, as well as a novelist and a vocal coach. You can find out more about the United Kingdom and the royal family. What's the latest gossip? What's the news? What's positive? You can learn from our expert correspondents, Helena Shard, Ian Palm Turner, and Simon McDonald. Are you interested in learning more about Roland Friedel? We just saw him today. He's traveling through Europe in his motorhome. You can click here and, and connect with him on LinkedIn. You can go to his website and you can find out more about what he's offering. What about feeling better as you are going through your spiritual awakening? And what is a spiritual awakening? Some people are already awake. Some people are still sleeping. How do we move from a world of capitalism and focus on money and focus on me, 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 and the ego to one where we're really focused on helping other people? Well, it turns out that essential oils are a part of this journey. So why not embrace it? Young Living Essential Oils has an independent distributor who also happens to be my sister. So please do reach out to her. Her name is Deborah Wilson. You can connect with her here on LinkedIn. This is her website, Endless Essences. There's a lot of great information there about how you can awaken, how she can coach you, work you, with you through it, how you can get a soul purpose reading. So please do reach out to Deborah Wilson. If you'd like to order some essential oils, you can do so right here. If you're interested in taking control of your own health care, excuse me, why not reach out to these gentlemen? Ashok, as well as Aaron, have created something that is super fantastic when it comes to telehealth and taking control of your health. Please take a look at this video. We got a lot of great feedback about this. Also, we had a show with Tiffany Rossdale, and she is incredible, helping us understand about LGBTQ plus colleagues and friends. And uh, Tiffany is over in Tokyo, explained to us a little bit about Japanese culture, as well as being a life coach for transgender people. So please go ahead and watch that video and reach out to Tiffany. We also have a fabulous Elevated Listener. I talked to you about the Power of Listening program, and I love to recognize people who are graduating from this course and taking what they learn about how to listen at an elevated level and using it in their business as well as their personal life. So let us recognize Hajar. You can actually reach out to Hajar and learn more about the work that she's doing. You can do that right here. All right. Are you looking for a convenient way to network instead of grabbing those business cards? Remember the last time you were at an event, you walk around meeting people and you've got cards Then you don't remember which card goes to which person. All that is eliminated when you work with Justin Rigliani and his Go Cards platform. So please do reach out to him. You can learn more in this video and you can also reach out to Justin right here with the link. And finally, I mentioned before about the power of listening. Take a look at this video that I've put together about listening at an elevated level without judging someone, without interrupting someone, without providing a solution, and without stealing the stage so that you can tell your story instead of listening to the other person's. I'd love to have you on my team. I recognize people. You get a certificate. You can put it on your LinkedIn. You can put it on your website. Then people know you know how to listen at an elevated level and they want to work with you. You can register right here. And thank you to Diane Floyd Babe and Red O'Laughlin for their partnership. And you can book in on our shows right here, book your session. And then finally, you can watch our shows right here. So that's an overview of the Global Post. And I hope you will look for the link here and go ahead and subscribe because one day there will be information there that's relevant to you. That day is today. So please do join us. 
All right. That's our last show for today. I look forward to coming back tomorrow when we have our full schedule as usual. Please go over to our website, usaglobaltv.com and book your session, or you can find so many other services. We offer education courses. Soon we're going to have a whole line of jewelry. So I look forward to sharing that with you. God bless you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you.